for the country. Yeah. He went on to say, he said, the other teams have to do their part, he said. The courts have to prosecute. Judges have to make sure they stay in talking about the suspects, the criminals. He blamed Democrats in Albany for failing to amend the state's bail law. So he's recognizing the fact that there's chain, right? A, a, a group of participants yeah. in the criminal justice system. And as we see over and over again in these Democrat-led cities, all of these players failing to do their part, like the DA yeah. in LA and the like, that is what is failing the good citizens and the people who pay their taxes who are maybe it sends a signal here that our leaders need to fund them in the first place and yet city council went ahead and did that and it's my understanding the same thing is happening in Minneapolis yeah. where you live is that true yeah I mean the, the city council had the hardest time I mean they, they've sort of abandoned it but not really mm -hmm. but it was only after plus because they're afraid of carjackings their catalytic converters are getting you're a car person yes. catalytic converters getting stolen all the time they on video that car swerving to hit the mother and child. And that's why the appropriate charges should have been two counts of felony assault with a deadly weapon because that's what a vehicle is there in California and one count of felony hit. Everything is misinformation whenever they want to distract from the reality of what's going on in Los Angeles. And by the way, to look at it in the bigger picture, Emily, you know, it's not just our, our major cities. We know that crime and drugs go hand in hand. Opioid problem. So you may not have in the in the smaller cities uh, a opioid problem. So you may not have in the in the smaller cities uh, rest pools of cities where crime has actually skyrocketed. <laughs> yeah, so tell yes. us about what that looks like there for you in Tennessee. Uh, you know, I and mean, we were living um, in between uh, rest pools of cities where crime has actually skyrocketed. <laughs> yeah, so tell yes. us about what that looks like there for you in Tennessee. Uh, you know, I and mean, we were living um, in between. Uh, on Tuesday, California's results will will send the message that underscores how much danger a party in power can face when voters feel that certainty has been stripped from their lives. Not only the crime, but also the inflation and gas prices and the like that it's going to send a stark message and that's what people are expecting. That's right. Look, it can get really discouraging. I had a young night. There is hope for what is going on in California. There is hope when in February we saw three school board members taken away in a recall in San Francisco because they wanted yeah. to rename 44 uh, historic locations. Because their cities don't look good to the public eye. It's June. What about the, the woman, the 57 year old woman who was hit in the back right. of the head 57 times? Right. One year, one for each of her years? I mean, come on. The crime has been burgeoning. Not only that, Harris, take a look at these headlines. There's actually speculation among the media about replacing him with another alternative in 2024, 530. Ooh, it was worse than Trump. And I tweeted and I said, it's pretty simple because people's lives are worse, right? right? Formula mm. from Germany. I can tell you Let's why. fix it in the house. Yeah. Great point. Because he doesn't like half the people in the house. <laughs> yes. That's why. Yeah. No, seriously. And and I most important thing I do Amen. in my life. Wow. And just so and I'm sorry the president thank you in time, but on behalf of all of us here, I know that we are all so grateful um, to all of those families and to everyone who serves. Yeah. And we Absolutely. are grateful to you for your mm -hmm. service as well. <laughs> Thanks. So Brian, he only way that's not too much to ask. Mm -hmm. Apparently it is right now, and that's what's so sad. Maybe if he had more of that connection. Mm -hmm. He would understand why the country thirsts so much to hear about what our panel has talked about today, and that is preservation of the mm. American dream. Mm. Yeah. Mm. He's got a note. Highly offensive mm. to many Hispanic uh, mm. communities. Yeah, only two. But it's, it's an Anglicization of the term. It feels foreign and imposed. It defies the basic rules of Spanish pronunciation, and it's just another example mm. of them trying to. And they should be focused on the issues. And I'm like, you just gave like a 15. And they should be focused on the issues. And I'm like, you just gave like a 15. influencing is she a big influencer I feel like she is you could argue culturally there's a there's a lot of people talking about her sure but do you think that she'll actually have that influence where it matters which is legislatively well, 20 percent question. approval rating that's that's <laughs> not the well, that's not that's a, a vote of confidence but remember this is the people that call us all birthing people and don't call us mothers and if she I have does. another well, baby and go. somebody calls me a birthing person at the hospital it's you know it would <laughs> It's going to be a rough day for that. Yeah. <laughs> Best of luck in November, guys. I always <laughs> passing in the night, and I sit down, and there's this. Died. <laughs> <laughs>
it's back. Exactly. Such a great point, right? It sort of removes that intimacy, and then you feel yeah. like you're I'm just looking at the menu. I, I'm not looking up Facebook right. or whatever, right? Well, I, I also, I'm like Kaylee's dad, so I'm always like 10 generations behind on a phone. And my phone often looks like this, well, you know, it's all beat phone. up on the. So I got to take this out and do the QR code. And I was like, what's wrong with your phone?